Kim and Josh, good evening. Yet yeah, these shootings happened just a few days after Aurora leaders met to discuss youth violence in their community. Now Aurora police are asking everybody to check their ring doorbell cameras or other cameras to see if they can get some answers. Four shootings leaving at least five people hurt. The first at East 71st Avenue on Saturday morning. The person shot drove themselves to the hospital and is going to be okay. The next was on East 52nd Avenue in Denver. Two adults were sent to the hospital. Now at 10:30 p.m. on Saturday in Aurora, police said shots were fired during a road rage incident near 23rd and Chambers. A 17 year old boy was hit and drove himself to the hospital. His injuries were non life threatening. Finally, around 5 a.m. Sunday, a drive by shooting happened on Iowa Drive near Parker in Florida. A woman was hit by gunfire in her bedroom. And Aurora police believe it was a drive by shooting. She is expected to survive. These shootings come as crime continues to be a hot button topic in Aurora. You know, whether they're struggling with the current uh, world that we're living in, whether they're having mental health, um, living with mental health issues, um, they have a, a, a family life where they're exposed to violence each and every day, and so this is the only way they know how to express themselves. So there's all those different aspects. Aurora police during a meeting with city council discussing youth violence and gang prevention, resulting in some strong words. I think that's sending the wrong message. Our, our youth are not just automatically involved in gangs. That is not how youth just end up um, in youth violence, this broad term we're using. So I think that's that's wrong. That's wrong that we are equating those things. We're not going to sit around anymore. There's nothing else to talk about. Now, I should mention that Aurora police say that they don't believe these shootings in their community, at least, are connected and no arrests have been made. Live in the Metro, Carly Moore, Fox 31.